Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come and do this video. I hope it's not going to be long. I don't think it's going to be long because I'm going to do it very, very, very basic. It is for the other, it's for brothers and sisters in the Most High who do not understand what the exodus is okay because often time i talk about the second exodus aka the wilderness you know some brothers and sisters will say sister carrion is this the rapture what is the second exodus what is the wilderness we've never heard about it and that has been a question throughout the years i've been talking about the wilderness aka the second exodus since 2016 when the lord bought it in my spirit and show me truth concerning these events to take place and when i read some of the comments i just thought to myself you know what yeah i think i'm gonna do a little baby video baby video um just explaining briefly superficially i'm not gonna go into great details and dig into biblical scriptures no I'm not gonna it's just gonna be superficial all right just explaining what the exodus is all right so in the bible in the most highest word there was a first exodus okay uh aka a wilderness event really because these ancient hebrew israelites was taken into the wilderness by the Mosa, yeah. Okay, so before we go any further, what is an exodus? What is it? That's the first thing you've got to understand. What is an exodus? What does the, how does the Bible define an exodus? Well, really, an exodus is simply going from one place to the next. Okay, exodus in out of something, you're coming out of something. All right into something good so the exodus is not anything bad it is moving from one physical place to the next that's basically what it is and for those of you who knows the story of moses you know that the ancient hebrew israelites in the old testaments they were in slavery by pharaoh the wicked egyptian king all right king prime minister leader governor whatever you want to call him and so because the ancient hebrew israelite the biblical ancient hebrew israelites these are the people of yah these are the most high chosen seed okay and because he loved them and he made a promise to father abraham because that's where the first covenant was formed with between god and abraham okay he made a promise to abraham that listen i'm gonna look after your seed basically but that said they're gonna go through slavery let's not uh butter it up brothers and sisters that's basically what the lord told abraham in genesis i forgot what's what scripture in genesis and basically tell tell abraham i'm gonna look after your seed i'm gonna make all the promises i'm gonna bring them to their land and what of you but they're gonna go into slavery all right so the first set of ancient Hebrew Israelites, they went into slavery by Pharaoh, the Egyptian. The Lord didn't like it one bit. He didn't like it. And so therefore, that's when the first Exodus happened. When he told Moses, get my people ready because they're leaving Egypt. <laughs> like, yeah, they're leaving this wicked place. Um but obviously before they leave i'm gonna send warning to pharaoh for for him to let my people go freely before you know he destroys 
but you know Pharaoh didn't listen or anything like that so the plagues came all these plagues okay all these ten plagues came upon Egypt so you know the story eventually eventually Pharaoh said take them go 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 so that's when Moses exodus that's that's physically physically leaving Egypt exodus in across the Red Sea into the wilderness so that was the first exodus okay but I want to point something out to you because this is very very relevant this is very very relevant because this is something that's going to happen in the second exodus in the first exodus what actually happened because when the children of Israel was crossing the Red Sea Pharaoh was still coming after them and the same thing is going to happen in the second exodus if you read Revelation 12 which we're going to talk about briefly it says that the dragon spot water out like a flood after the woman and the woman is basically everybody's yeah everybody have their opinion who the woman is but the woman in Revelation 12 it does she does represent Israel the Hebrew Israelite but also those born again Christians who have been grafted in whose heart have been changed by the most high yeah and they've been walking holy and all of that all right but everybody's got their thing about who the woman is some people said the woman in revelation 12 is a secular state israel that's what they say oh the woman in revelation 12 is the israelite in down in the political state israel it's not them but anyways so that's a I'll just a sign up sign ups of the first exodus Exodus in, out of Egypt into the wilderness. Okay, so you're saying to me, all right, Sister Karen, you've been bag, banging on about the second Exodus. Where in the Bible is it? Well, it is all over scriptures. The second Exodus is all over the, the Bible. Um, so in the second Exodus, all right, what's going to happen is that because I, talk, I told you about the Most High making a promise to Father Abraham and telling Father Abraham that he will bring back his seed into the promised land, okay? Two slaveries happen in the Bible. One is the first, ex one is the first with Moses in Egypt the second slavery is the transatlantic slavery that happened um where sorry about that my kids were the second slavery happened where uh the europeans and the americans and the portuguese and the arab nations went down into it went down into africa and yeah you know the story basically took uh the most highest people and scattered them all over the place now when you hear me talk about the second exodus you always hear me link you always hear me linking it with the african americans and there's a reason for that and what the reason why i do that because i do that on purpose although the 12 tribes are scattered all over the place all over the world from Africa to the Caribbean to America to South Africa, everywhere, all right? It's scattered all over the place. But what actually happened in the second slavery, which is the modern day, not really the modern day slavery, but the slavery from 1916 is ended now, 2020 or 2019, because the Bible talks about four years of slavery that his people are going to go through. And that has ended this either last year or this year depending on how you calculate it the 400 years so we know that is up so a big chunk listen to me brothers and sisters because this is very very important what i'm going to say to you a massive huge chunk of they call them the african slaves that 
they're Hebrew Israelites, really. They're not really African slaves because there were two, there's two tribes down there in Africa. You've got the Hamites. They're not Hebrew Israelites. And you've got the Hebrew Israelites. But everybody's just so mixed up together. So the whole world calls us Africans. But yeah, all right. That's it. So a big chunk of the Hebrew Israelites, a.k.a. they call them the African slaves, a massive chunk of those ancestors were taken to the United States of America. Because that is where the, yeah, abomination really happened with those people, with our ancestors. Okay, that's where the most, because the Bible talks about it. That's where the cruelty, that's where the cruelty, the, the, the majority, other, other countries are wicked, don't get me wrong, Britain have their part to play. But the United States of America, the cruelty that happened to those slaves, our ancestors, was beyond human comprehension. It was awful. Okay? All right. So these are yes people. Watch this. Just stay with me because I have to educate you, brothers and sisters. So these are yes people. Okay? Now, the Bible is very, very clear. And the Lord says that he will scatter Judah, okay, because there's 12 tribes. Don't forget that. 12 tribes of Israel or Jacob. But one of the tribes is mostly scattered all over the place. All in every single continent of the world that you go on, you will find Judah. You will find them. But for some reason, hallelujah. And I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't have the answer for that. I, I really don't have it. But for some reason, the Most High has allowed that massive trunk of Judah to go to America through, through the slave. They're the ancestors, they're the slaves. Okay? But there's a reason for it. And I'm still asking the Lord, why did you let that big trunk of Judah... You know, that massive chunk. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. This is my son came in for something. Um. So yeah, I'm still asking the Most High why that big trunk went into America. Okay. So now we have Judah scattered all over the place. Okay, but that's one of the main, that the main, it's not the, all the tribes are main, but that was the tribe that was scattered the most. But the bulk of it is in the un, it, I'm so sorry, it's not it. The bulk of yes people are in the United States of America. And this is why American government over the years changed them. They used to call coloreds, blacks. Now they're called African Americans. All right? Caribbean is the same thing. You know, they know they don't know what to call us. Now they call us Afro-Caribbean. But that said, brothers and sisters, Judah is still in Africa. Don't get me wrong. Because remember, they're scattered all over the place. All right? To the four corners of the earth. It's, it's biblical. The Lord said it. So now that we know that it is indeed the people who went into slavery these are the hebrew israelites so if your ancestors was on the transatlantic ship going to america going to britain going to spain going to the caribbean you are part of the hebrew israelite family but the whole world hi lovey just just give me a minute, Jaden, please. Thank you. Um, but the whole world has tricked us. So what they've done to hide the identity. You need to read Psalms 83. You need to read Psalms 83. Because what they've done, they've hidden the identity of the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of Yah. And they've created a state called Israel down in Jerusalem, the political state. Yeah, that Donald Trump loves so much. It's an illusion. 
So what actually happened is that because they know what's going to happen, they know that the second exodus is coming. These wicked, they know. So what they've done, the 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 British government, the American government, Br um, Germany, Spain, Arab nation, all of them cooled together. They have cooled together and created a false state called Israel. So when your pastor is on the pulpit and all these YouTubers coming on and saying, oh, give money to Israel, they're God's chosen people, don't say a bad word, it's a lie, it's a coup. They are not the Hebrew Israelites. They didn't go into slavery. And it doesn't matter how much they try to create and try can't do it, they can't do it, not by a long shot. Try to make the Holocaust some form of slave biblical stuff. It's not, it won't wash because it's not Bible. Deuteronomy 28, if you take the time to read Deuteronomy 28, you will know where God's people are. And when you read it, you will know that the modern day state Israel is not the biblical bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Once you get that correct and you identify the true seed of Yah, the true Hebrew Israelites, you will understand. This is why the African Americans are hated so much. Because it's a tug of war between Jacob and Esau. But that's for another time. I want to get to the second exodus. But I had to lay the groundwork. So you understand why the second exodus is going to happen. So now we know that. Now we know who the Hebrew Israelites are. I'm not going to get into the color. The color thing. Is it is all you know Hebrew Israelite black people. Well to be honest with you. <laughs> it's changed. Things and times have changed. Intermarriage. All sorts of happen, okay? So I can only go by the Bible and I can only go by what is written in the Bible. Those who went on the, on the, on the our ancestors, I'm part of it because I'm from Jamaica and I, my ancestors were brought to Jamaica from Africa through slavery. So I know that I am a Hebrew Israelite. I know my word, I know the Bible. So I know who I am in Yah, okay? So you have to do your own research. You've got to, if you're, yeah. So you, if that's one of the way to know if you are the bloodline of Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Deuteronomy 28 tells you, and, and I bear, we bear that curse. Those of us in the Caribbean, American, whatever. Okay. So because the Most High has promised Abraham that these two slavery atrocities will happen, he also promised that he's going to bring his people back. So the slave masters who came down into Africa and took our ancestors, the seed, which I'm part of the seed, we're going to go back. Because that part of the Bible needs to be fulfilled. And it needs, to be, it needs to be fulfilled before the rapture. This is the reason why I keep on saying to people when they say, oh, the rapture is any moment now. Jesus Christ is coming any moment. It's a lie. It's a lie. The rapture is not going to happen until... The second exodus happens because the Lord has made a promise to Father Abraham. But guess what, brothers and sisters? The devil has infiltrated and mimicked the word of the Most High Yah. So now you have these churches, these evangelical churches, and these Catholics saying, Oh, well, hmm, the second exodus have happened in 1948. Because the Lord has gathered back his people down in the political state, Israel. It's not them. The Lord didn't do anything. That was just politician. To hide the truth of who the true Hebrew Israelites are. And they're not going to come in the church and tell you that. They're more likely to say and brainwash you and tell you that the political state, Israel, are the true people of here. And they're not. Because they need Christ. Somebody wrote me an email a couple days ago. And the person said to me, Sister Karen, I was very disturbed. 
and I thank God I came across your videos. And she basically said there's a pastor in Zimbabwe. I can't pronounce his name because if I could, I would tell you. But there's a famous pastor. I hope he's watching or somebody can get this message to him because you're very wicked. You're very, very wicked. There's a famous pastor in Zimbabwe who is teaching, who is teaching the people that, listen to this, listen to this. He's teaching the people that Jacob, that Jacob is, that, okay, basically, okay, let me say it. He's saying that the seed of Jacob, they're all Caucasian. And the seed of Esau, they're all black people. So I wrote back to this beautiful beloved and said, well, if that's the case, it means that it should have been the whites that went through Deuteron Deuteronomy 28. It should be their ancestors on them slave ships. It's not them. They, they, our, brother, our Caucasian brothers and sisters know that they didn't go into slavery. And if they're truthful to themselves, they know that it's, it's the black people, well, the Hebrew Israelites, that went into black into slavery so this pastor is teaching his people that it's the white people that went into slavery and 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 that black people didn't go into slavery that's a lie it's not biblical these are just lying spirits and it's, and, and as close as the exodus comes up you'll see more lying spirits coming out brothers and sisters you'll see it coming out more and more but I just wanted to touch on that. But so now the second exodus must happen. Not maybe, but it will happen 100%. Revelation chapter 12, there's many scriptures that needs, that needs to be fulfilled in the Old Testament because everybody thinks that all the scriptures in the Old Testament has been fulfilled. It hasn't. Isaiah chapter 11 or chapter 12 that hasn't been fulfilled yet sorry where the lord says that he's going to gather his people from patmos from egypt from here and there and bring them back and set up an ensign for the nation to see and you and i encourage you to read jeremiah oh i don't know where this hiccup came from the devil is a liar i encourage you to read jeremiah 30 very very powerful very 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 powerful but hang your hats on Revelation 12. That is where your main prophecy is, the woman. This is the, this, this, this is the, 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 the woman is Israel, but it's, it's the church. You understand? So it's dual. It is dual. It is Israel, but it's the church because not all Hebrew Israelites are going to go to the wilderness because some of them are very, very wicked. Very wicked. All right? But it's only those who are found worthy will escape into the wilderness. We call it the second exodus. So that's how the second exodus is, has come about because the Lord has pro proclaimed two. Moses and us, the seed of Father Abraham, that the Lord is going to do that bring us into the wilderness so no rapture no jesus christ coming in the clouds nothing like that not yet it's gonna happen it will happen it will 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 happen but the second exodus of yes people god's chosen seed and those who love the lord will go to a place of safety and this place of safety is when the Antichrist is reigning. So we're going to actually miss the mark of the beast. We're going to miss the Antichrist and his antics. We're not going to be a part of that because we're going to be into protection for three and a half years. It's in Revelation 12. Read Revelation 12, brothers and sisters. You will get your answer there. Okay. Don't want to go to, I just wanted to give that little, little side, sign ups of what is going on but that's how the wilderness event that is how that is how the second exodus no no 
that's 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 how the second exodus um is going to happen and i don't and i didn't it sounds like i went deep but i didn't because i wanted to try my best to keep it basic and superficial so with the second exodus brothers and sisters just like lot you know the story of lot where the lord before he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for the wickedness and the atrocities that they were committing, the Most High sent the angels to go into the city to go and get Lot. So the same thing is going to happen. Angels are going to come for us. So when you see knocking on the door or stop you in the street and said, look, we've got to go. Got to pack your bags. It's going to come straight. You're going to think, who is this person talking to me like this? No, that's an angel. But you've got to be careful because at the same time, fallen angels, even though they're here, they will come in to mimic. But the Lord is going to show you truth. So don't worry about that too much, okay? But angels will be meeting you either your work, at home, in the street, supermarket, wherever you are. When they come and say, it's time to go. And they're gonna look human. They're gonna look. They're gonna just look like you and me. But I have to give out the warning because it is coming. This thing is coming up, brothers and sisters. We're exodusing out of Babylon. Hallelujah! But I encourage you to read the scriptures because until you read, especially Revelation twelve, read Revelation twelve, read Deuteronomy twenty eight read Jeremiah 30 to get an understanding of what's going on so until you understand who yes people are you cannot understand biblical prophecy because you will always look to the fake state Israel and rely on that state for biblical prophecy it's a lie always look to the United States of America for biblical prophecy because that is where the bulk of yes people are Judah hallelujah so yeah i just wanted to come and give this little uh i might do a second video if some people still don't understand so be bold be strong be courageous walk with you just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high yah who lives above the heavens yeah eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.